let's try and create some dynamic XGen splines. I've got a plane to put it on, I select it, I create a new description, I'm going to use splines, because they are really easy to make dynamic, randomly across the surface, and I'm going to place and shape guides, because those I can actually use to make it dynamic. So I'm going to go create, I need to put some guides on there to get anything, so I'm just randomly clicking here and there to put some guides on. And those are going to drive my dynamics. If I now show, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on there. In my primitive section for XGen, I'm going to select that I'm making them. I'm going to use animation on them. I'm going to create a hair system for it. I'm going to snap it to the base and click with the mesh just because I can. Make curves dynamic. I'm going then to then attach the hair system. And if I then play my thing, nothing happens. Why? Because these things are all standing upright and there's nothing happening to hairs that are standing upright. So I'm going to go into my outline and select my nucleus, get to my attribute editor and throw some wind in there and have some wind noise in there, maybe a little bit more wind, and then see what happens. Yay! And all my little XGen curves are suddenly dynamic. Well, they were the name before, but now they're actually moving because they're being blown over. It's that easy to make XGen curves dynamic in Maya. Doing this with groomable splines is much harder. But that's another video.